A hidden message is information that is not immediately noticeable, and that must be discovered or uncovered and interpreted before it can be known. Hidden messages include backwards audio messages, hidden visual messages and symbolic or cryptic codes such as a crossword or cipher. Although there are many legitimate examples of hidden messages, Many so-called hidden messages are merely the fanciful imaginings of conspiracy theorists. Backward audio messages. A backward message in an audio recording is only fully apparent where the recording is played reversed. Some backward messages are produced by deliberate backmasking, while others are simply phonetic reversals resulting from random combinations of words. Backmasking Backmasking is a recording technique in which a message is recorded backwards onto a track that is meant to be played forwards. It was popularized by the Beatles, who used backward vocals and instrumentation on their 1966 album Revolver. The technique has also been used to censor words or phrases for clean releases of songs. Backmasking has been a controversial topic in the United States since the 1980s when allegations of its use for satanic purposes were made against prominent rock musicians, leading to record burnings and proposed anti-backmasking legislation by state and federal governments. In debate are both the existence of backmasked satanic messages and their purported ability to subliminally affect listeners. Phonetic reversal Certain phrases produce a different phrase when the phonemes are reversed, a process known as phonetic reversal. For example, kiss backwards sounds like sick, and so the title of Yoko Ono's kiss 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 sounds like sick 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 or sick 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 backwards. The Paul is dead phenomenon was started in part because a phonetic reversal of number 9 was interpreted as turn me on, dead man. Weird Al Yankovic uses this technique in two different songs. The first was Nature Trail to Hell, in which he states Satan eats cheese whiz. The next song to have a backwards message was I Remember Larry, in which he states Wow, you must have an awful lot of free time on your hands. According to proponents of reverse speech, phonetic reversal occurs unknowingly during normal speech. Backward messages also exist in mediums outside of music, including computer games, music videos, movies and television shows. In the computer game Doom 2, a garbled message played at the start of Map 30, spoken by the icon of sin can be played backwards to hear, to win the game, you must kill me. John Romero, Romero was a programmer for the game, he put the backwards message in to get back at the artist who put the image of his head on the final level. Stanley Kubrick, in his 1999 release, Eyes Wide Shut, features a scene depicting a satanic ritual, where the soundtrack consists of a backwards orthodox liturgy chanted in Romanian. The Red Dwarf episode, Backwards, features a world where time flows backwards, allowing the opportunity for many backwards filmed scenes. One bit features Arthur Smith as a pub owner yelling at Rimmer and Cree 10, when reversed, he's actually saying, I'm pointing at you, but I'm not actually addressing you, I'm addressing the one prat in the country who has bothered to get a hold of this recording. Turn it round and actually work out the rubbish that I'm saying. What a poor sad life he's got. In one scene of Beavis and Butthead do America, Beavis and Butthead hallucinate, and voices are heard in the background. The voices are the two characters speaking phrases such as, Everybody go to college, study hard, study hard. In the Clone High episode, Raisin the Stakes, JFK falls through the cafeteria sunroof, lands, and begins to foam at the mouth and speak gibberish. The gibberish played backwards is JFK saying, I am talking backwards, and telling you to watch Clone High, and for us to get an Emmy, I'm saying that backwards, cause it's sneaky, in the, Man of Science, Man of Faith, episode of Lost, Walt Lloyd is heard speaking backwards, although fans argue on what he says. An episode of G.I. Joe includes the backwards message, anybody listening to this backwards for a secret occult message is a real dweeb, which is a reversal of an incantation spoken by Destro.
The episode, Expiration Day, from The Brack Show, includes the message, Why are you listening to this song backwards? You could have been on a date with a girl. It is sung by Thundercles as he was going to be shut down. In the SpongeBob SquarePants episode, Opposite Day, one of the opposite things SpongeBob and Patrick do is speak gibberish. When played backwards, it goes, SpongeBob and Patrick laughing. SpongeBob, to get to the opposite side. Patrick, I give up. SpongeBob, hey Patrick. This message seems to be based on the saying why did the chicken cross the road. In episode 130 of the hugely popular anime series Pokemon, James accidentally starts to get eaten by one of his own Pokemon and speaks gibberish when it happens. The gibberish played backwards, says Leo Burnett and four kids are the devil. Leo Burnett. This had been hidden in by James voice artist Eric Stewart as a protest message as he was angered when he heard four kids announce that the voice actors wouldn't be paid for commercial work anymore. During the ending theme to Cartoon Network's The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Gibberous is heard at the end. The sound played backwards is Maxwell Atoms, the creator of the show, saying, No, no, this is the end of the show. You're watching it backwards. There are many cases in Gravity Falls where things are said backwards. For example, in Dreamscaperers, Gideon says backwards message, backwards message, backwards message, backwards. Also, the whispering at the end of the title theme that tells people how to use new ciphers as they become introduced to the show. Those whispers are backwards. A message occurs in an episode of Bravest Warriors, the message apparently being, this is a message playing backwards. In the Health and Safety episode of Strange Hill High, when the protagonists are walking on the opposite side of the stairs, the narrator says, backwards, stair walls are carefully marked for your safety. Follow designated signs and never walk in the opposite direction. Later, in the same episode, when the film starts to crumble, Templeton says, we'll never make it, backwards, and Mitchell replies, I bet you said never in there, but at least it sounded optimistic. Visual messages. In the video game Mercenary One item to pick is, Essential 12939 Supply, a box with numbers chapter 12939. When walked around numbers are seen as letters, Pepsi. In the British game show Robot Wars, one of the robots that competed in series 5 and 7 was a robot called 8645T. When looked a certain way, it would read Beast. In the 1980s, Coca-Cola released in South Australia an advertising poster featuring the reintroduced contour bottle, with a speech bubble. Feel the curves. Inside one of the ice cubes was controversial. Thousands of posters were distributed to hotels and bottle shops in Australia before the mistake was discovered by Coca-Cola management. The artist of the poster was fired and all the posters were recalled. Various other messages have been claimed to exist in Disney movies, some of them risquette, such as the well-known allegation of an erection showing on a priest in The Little Mermaid. According to the Snopes website however, only one is clearly true, and undeniably purposely inserted into the movie. Images of a topless woman in two frames of the rescuers. Petter is also the scene of a running battle with Petco, a pet food retailer in San Diego. For several years regarding the purported mistreatment of live animals at Petco stores, when the San Diego Padres announced that Petco had obtained naming rights to Petco Park, Petter was unable to persuade them to terminate the agreement. Hence Petter used advertising in the form of an acrostic. It successfully purchased a brick with what appears on the surface to be a complimentary message. Bray ache open your cold ones. Toast the Padres. Enjoy this championship organization. However, if one takes the first letters of each word, the resulting acrostic reads Boycott Petco. Neither Petco nor the Padres have taken any action to remove the brick, stating that if someone walked by, they would not know it had anything to do with the Petter-Petco feud.